So we saw that Jesus proved himself qualified to be trusted by God. Job 4, 17. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servant. This is God, verse 18. And his angels, he charged with folly. How much less him in them that dwell in house of clay, talking about you now, whose foundation is in the dust, which has crushed before the mouth. So it, there is a powerful revelation here. God does not trust anyone. Say with me, God doesn't trust me. <laughs> God does not trust me. Only blessings in class today. The rest of you, you are shocked, right? That's why the advert is a shocking revelation. <laughs> it's not God does not trust anyone until he has proven them to be trustworthy. And the whole essence of this series of teaching is to bring you to the point where the Father can trust you. Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels. He charged with folly. I love this one. <laughs> this is where your faith trials and the trials of your reign, of your heart, stems from. He doesn't even trust his own angels. What do you mean, man of God? Have you not read about some spiritual beings? Even though I need to quickly clarify to you, many biblical verse that speaks about the fall of angels and talks about angels, usually they undermine the context that is being spoken there because it's not only angels that are in the realm of the spirit. I've told you there are at least 12 to 13 spiritual rankings and not all of them are angels. The least in that ladder is the angels. <laughs> there are other, and that's why the Bible talks about Jesus has been given a name that is above every other name. There are names in the spirit. That is why, let me show you see, Michael could not bring a railing accusation. Fear, I know I, I owe you that teaching, but let me tell them here. That is why Michael could not bring a railing accusation even against the devil unless he provoke a higher authority than the devil. Save it, we are coming there. <laughs> Yes, we did it. Zembre de Duska. Listen, child of God, there is you are you are very far above all principalities. All you far above them. Oh, you don't understand. Who gets it? Zapro Nehisa. It's not talking about distance, it's talking about ranking. I don't I've, I've said something powerful, right? Mama Sarah, did you catch that? Yes, I have. Yes. He's not talking about distance. He's talking about ranking. Your ranking in the spiritual... <laughs> Let me not go there. Well, those who are in the spirit already understood. Let's face the today's issues. So God doesn't trust angels, neither does he trust any of his servants. He has to prove them. That's why you saw a being that is called Lucifer. He, he fell and he was cast down. As we speak now, there are four angels that are locked down under you, river Euphrates. And in the book of Revelation, when you begin to read, you will realize that there are demons that are, there are spirit beings that has been locked down in Tartarus, in the place of blackness and darkness, all right? So there are, <laughs> there are spiritual beings that are, God has charged with folly. I mark the word charge. It means they've, he found them guilty. With Lucifer, iniquity was found in him. God proved the art of Lucifer and showed him the certificate. And he couldn't deny it. So what does God do to prove his servant? Listen carefully. Every angel and every spiritual being in heaven, every angel and every rank spiritual being in heaven right now, they chose to be holy. It is a choice they made. So the earth realm is where we are given opportunity to choose because we will not be making that choice. Because if God has allowed us to be made in the likeness of those beings, so to say, and you sin, you will be like the devil. <laughs> Praise God. So because of his love for man, he did an equation that will break down some days. Matthew 5, 5, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the, the earth. Don't forget, we just, I quoted James 4, 7 and 1 Peter 5, 5 to you, that God resists the proud in heart, but he gives his power, his ability, his entrustment. The Bible says we are stewards of his grace. So God will not empower you until he can trust you. And here you are, you've been praying, Lord, give me your power. He won't. 
until he can trust you. And he will show it to you that you are not trustworthy or you are trustworthy. When the power comes, it means then he can trust you now. Whatever I'm doing today that you are giving glory to God for, they came out of covenant dedication that made God to entrust me with the truth. There is a way you can be given a gift, right? And you can be given a calling. But he still needs you to take responsibility to study, to show yourself trustworthy. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. By the time you dedicate a particular hour of the money to pray to God, one day you will realize that God doesn't miss that time. But before you begin to have some of those unique spiritual experiences, you must have done that ritual for a while. 